Welcome to the second part of character creation for Heroes Unlimited. This one is complete with more exasperation from Amelia. But first, some quick announcements. First up, I had an absolutely amazing time running my game, Chimera, at Midwinter Gaming Convention this past Saturday. Have a little bit of con drop right now, uh, because it was just one day, but it's still there. I wanted to thank Kyle, Kyler, and Joel for playing some amazing characters in the first game of the day, and Eric, Noor, Nate, and Mike for playing the first non-magical girls version of this current iteration of my game. It went over very well. I had such a blast playing in these games and seeing your creativity come through, um, and I can't wait to see what m more people come up with in the future. Um, I do see a couple things that I do need to fix for next time, possibly adding even one basic move that I felt was missing, uh, but it's coming along nicely, and I cannot wait to playtest this again very soon. Another announcement is that Amelia and myself are both planning to be at Gen Con this year. We're really excited to try to get a panel together for this podcast. Uh, we're not exactly sure what we're going to be doing yet, but it will be fun, I guarantee I also hope to run a couple games of Chimera, and I really hope to play some great games with a lot of amazing people. It is going to be an event not to miss, and tickets are on sale right now, so go get them. Finally, we're running low on reviews again, so uh, please help us out and go ahead and leave a review on iTunes or Stitcher, uh, or you can leave one on our Facebook page uh, if you haven't already. It'd really mean a lot to us. but. For now, uh, go ahead and sit back, relax, and listen to the completion of our Heroes Unlimited characters with the folks over at System Mastery. Enjoy. episode of Character Creation Cast. We were in the process of creating characters for Heroes Unlimited. Jeff was making an alien. John was making a magic object magic user. Amelia was making an experiment. And I was making a mutant. Let's pick up again right where we left off. Enjoy. So is, is everybody done with skills? Was I the straggler on that one? I mean, I'm putting down my percentages and okay. stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah, we don't, don't have to worry about those. Well, wait, I'm sorry. Is ventriloquism a skill? Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Oh, definitely. Ventriloquism <laughs> is... Oh, where is that? I want to say I, it's I under... I just saw it. It is. It's uh. Well, it's under military. <laughs> it's a rogue skill. It is a rogue skill. It's a physical skill. I mean, if you think about it. Yeah, ventriloquism is a rogue skill. Uh, it appears that my character is from a low gravity planet. I'm just I'm just rolling along as we go here. Uh, the alien's homeworld has a much lighter gravity than Earth. This has made the alien much taller than a typical human. That's awesome. Uh, although the increased gravitational pull of Earth slows the alien down, uh, it also provides him with somewhat greater mass. Oh yeah, that's right. Well, that's a that's a really horrible uh, statement because it's not mass that you're gaining. It's uh, it's weight. Your mass is mm -hmm. the same regardless. I know. Although technically it does bear out that way. I do add a D4 times 100 pounds to whatever my starting weight wow. is. Uh, I also add a D4 to my PP uh, and a 1D4 times 10 bonus to SDC. And finally, my character is 5 feet 5 inches high plus 1D6 additional feet. Wow. So I, I think I want to reconsider a couple skills. Ryan, we don't have to play this game. Oh, no, we don't. But we do have to make characters in it. Yeah. <laughs> You're taking this so seriously. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I wrote down a bunch of skills, and I gave up writing down percentages because it was too I already have most That's of the role skills that I want, so I'm going to keep them. So, good. It's funny because uh, there's skills in the espionage program that are also in the rogue program. And then there's physical skills that are also in the rogue program. Oh, it's, oh, it's fantastic. And they're different percentages, too. <laughs> okay, my character is... 
11 feet, 7 inches tall. Wait, what? <laughs> well, he was an elephant, so he was already tall, yeah, and then yeah. he got taller. I'm an, I'm an, I'm wow. an elephant dude, so I'm, a, I'm, an, I'm an elephant alien that is 11 foot 7. That's impressive. Yeah. Cool, cool. Super cool. Okay. cool, cool, cool. I don't know how to determine what my starting weight was, uh, but I'm going to assume it's like 150 or so. Um, well, you should probably roll randomly to see if you were portly. skinny or <laughs> obese. Or... Uh, yeah, there's a table that uh, that you could roll on, page 25. Oh, oh, gee. Uh, heaven forfend, I, I skip a table. I'll, I'll jump back and take care Better. of it. That's, uh, there's, uh, there's six different options on that table. All right, so... Should we get to our uh, power categories since well, we're already going through one of the aliens, uh, which has sure. a lot more options than um, some of the other power categories? Can oh, we yeah. skip alignments? No, we're going back to step three. Oh, my God. <laughs> I thought we were getting somewhere. <laughs> this is so great. <laughs> I apologize, Amelia. Not enough. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I've been so nice. <laughs> oh, looks like I rolled a pot belly. I'm going to go ahead and take 170 then. Okay, so we have to do. I'm sorry, I'm going to do what now? Okay, so now you have to go to the actual page in the book that covers your power category. So you rolled experiment, right? Uh -huh. um, so you have to go to page 114, okay. and that's where you actually start everything. It actually. Um... <laughs> what have we been doing this whole time? <laughs> Oh, this has been just precursor. <laughs> yeah, this, okay, so this is the fun part. Um, every class or uh, every po <laughs> we're two and yeah. a half hours. <laughs> every power category, right, goes through the uh -huh. steps of creating that power category. We went through step one, the usual, and step two, education and skills. Now you're on step three, which is the experiment and powers. So now you've got um like seven different tables to roll on. Um, that tell you like the the background of your experiment stuff, as well as the okay. amount of super abilities that you get. Yeah, this is the fun part. Yeah, this is this is the really fun part. You get some really cool stuff, uh, for your character background on these tables. Unless you're me, because Enchanted Object has like two tables, and both of them are garbage. I, I have always avoided Enchanted Object whenever I chose a, a magic class. Um, and I think, well, I rolled randomly, so I got to yep, stick to and it. I, th I, I by think the rules. I never played a magic object one. It's kind of bad. It is. It kind is. Of bad. Uh, just in case anyone's curious, uh, after calculating all of my weight tabulations, I weigh 470 pounds, which oh. is actually super low for someone who's 11 foot seven. They should weigh like right. 650. You Well, you gave yourself 170 as a starting. And then I rolled three D. I'm sorry. I rolled D, a D four times 100 additional pounds. Yeah, but 170 wouldn't be your alien starting weight when you're already an elephant man. I guess you're probably right there. Because uh, you're an elephant man that's also from a low grav planet. Yeah, but there isn't a starting roll for how much an elephant man weighs. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Weigh, weighs twice as much as a human of comparable size. So 340. So 340 plus 300. Six, uh, so now, now we're right to where I should be. Yeah, 640. Mm -hmm. See? I do. I Look, do, I do Kevin Symbieta has covered all of the bases. I will send him an apology cake. <laughs> okay, so let's find out what kind of experiment I am. So the choices for nature of this experiment are chemical, radiation or other energy, chemical and radiation combined, or exposure to an unknown quantity. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So well, like I got that last rays. one. So that means it's just something, something. Some alien rock. Uh-huh. Yeah, something changed. Like kryptonite. You. Microbes yeah. from a meteor. <laughs> You're one of those uh, side characters from Smallville, where everyone gained powers from kryptonite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or on The Flash, where everyone gained powers from the incident. Yep. Yeah. Which is dark, dark matter. energy, or is it dark matter or dark energy? I think dark energy. Yeah, it's it, it's it's dark yeah. matter energy. Yeah. So yeah, I guess that makes sense. Unless you're a bus meta. <laughs> but that was and they that were was modified still by the thinker. That was still it was dark. still the dark yep, energy. It was just or dark from matter. a different source. It was just created. Okay. Guys, this is a the Flash podcast now. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm Barry Allen. Mm -hmm. All right, so I get to roll on the cause of my mutation. And it is a 24, which is accidental encounter with, quote unquote, strange stuff. <laughs> this, this can <laughs> cool. be almost anything, industrial waste, chemicals, radiation, alien substance, cosmic energy, or other strangeness. Hmm. It appears as though 
I am going to be doubly busy because I am my super abilities have been determined to be an experiment. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! So I have to roll all the alien stuff and all the experiment oh, that's stuff. Great. I'll uh, I'll catch up with you guys that's soon. Great. <laughs> uh, so type of experiment accident. Oh, interesting. Oops, a daisy. Well, that oh, makes no. sense that it's an unknown uh, quantity or whatever they called it. Right. So I'm saying, but like, so you have your mutation. Yeah. I am an accidental experiment. Yeah. You you are accidentally exposed to something. Oh, hey, do you want to be exposed to the same thing? Well, that's what I'm saying. And then now we have this alien, alien ex- experiment I guess, okay, thing. If, if the alien experiment rolls like weird stuff too, then we could all have a similar origin story. I think we were all exposed to whatever this magic uh-huh. object is. Oh, gosh. <laughs> the, the magic object. And then you're just still carrying it around. And then uh, it's embedded in me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So really, it turns out we were all just exposed to yep. you. <laughs> Although I am technically an intergalactic champion of justice because I just rolled my reason for coming to Oh, Earth. that's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. Now I have to roll for the number of super abilities. That's my favorite part. Except for I get so nervous that I'm going to roll something horrible. But you can't really go wrong with uh, most of them on that list. I really want just like one minor ability and I want it to be like very good hearing. They do have extraordinary hearing or hiding sense of hearing. Well, it looks like I'm just casting spells. Oh, well, good. That'll show a huge difference uh, uh, between super, you and superpowers. That's true. Yep. So my enchanted object, I rolled a 74, which means the character can cast spells. I pick four spells each from levels one through four, and then a total of six from spells five through eight. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. And they have a power level that is determined when I get them, uh, and it never changes no matter what level Wait, I am. Wait, what? So they're all level ones? No. They're a random level. What? So I just I just rolled a 78, which means all of my spells are level 6. Oh, wow. So as a level 1 character, I have level 6 spells, but as soon as I become level 7, they're still level 6 because it's the object that's casting that's them. That's really interesting. So lower levels, you're... Hopefully you're, we quit before yeah, that. You're kind of OP. <laughs> and six levels in this game is like probably two years of campaigning straight, almost. Oh, yeah. Now you can get anywhere between fourth to seventh level so fourth is the lowest level that you'll have for your spells oh, that's cool so you got the upper end there yeah so sixth level spells and now there's only one other thing that you get from having an object so you get a plus two to save versus magic 1d4 times 10 to your uh sdc and then one random special ability hmm. That's that's interesting. And you're, you're, My random special ability is invisibility at will. Oh, Ooh, that's really good. That's really good. All right. Wow. Well, good. I may not have gotten superpowers, but I basically did anyway. That's true. I've got an unusual physical characteristics table for my mutant, which the random table is literally uh, two pages long. So let's see what happens. I, I just need above 30 to look weird. I have to uh, roll for the side effects of this Seven. experiment. I have scaly skin. I have a tough, wow. tough, smooth reptilian skin with small scales. Add 30 SDC. Nice. The Damn, I rolled the only good thing in the special abilities for an enchanted object. Because the rest of them are things like plus three to save versus psionics or plus a D4 to an attribute. Oh, nice. wow. That's horrible Just compared see- to it. Yeah, all of them are bad. In case anyone was curious, I own several sets of Earth clothing. I have some familiarity with Earth. I believe that Earth people are in need of guidance and justice. Uh, and I believe uh, Earth girls are easy. Mm-hmm. Well, they are. I have a, I have a uh, physical beauty of like 24 at the moment. Uh, <laughs> as, a, as an 11 foot tall elephant. Yeah, that 11 foot tall elephant man is getting the furry community. Ooh, what in the oh world? My. The elephant man could get it. Uh, I have an energy sword that does 5d6 damage with a plus one to strength and damage. Or sorry, to parry and strike. And finally, I have a special vehicle, a one man fan jet, Uh, a small aircraft with a single seat. A passenger may sit in the pilot's lap, but all pirate rolls are made at 10 percent or minus 10 percent. And he suffers a penalty of minus two on initiative. So in case you were curious, if my elephant flies a tiny airplane, uh, (laughs) worry no more. (laughs) It's amazing. Can I say that your giant elephant flies a tiny World War One airplane? Of course oh, you can. God, you. He flies a biplane and he still sticks out <laughs> over the top wings. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> wow. 
All right. Um, I, I think that I got the only side effect that like doesn't have a stat thing associated with it. Get, roll so, again. Like, I'm okay with that. Um, because it's <laughs> math. Uh, mine is that my hair permanently falls out. Oh, permanent. <laughs> all of it. All, all hair it. on head, face, and body falls out and never grows oh, back. Okay. That's so. I wish I had that. Oh man, a depilatory <laughs> ability. Um, I mean, sweet. I never have to shave my legs again. Yeah. That's not bad. yeah. There's, there's just never hair. You're just so smooth. At least, at mm-hmm. least you're... The only one that's confusing is that people can't read your facial expressions without them eyebrows. Yeah. Well, mm. you, know, you can paint true. them on. Yeah, <laughs> you just paint them on with a grease pencil like I do to babies all the time. The, probably the worst one for that is the no facial features, where you just have two yeah. tiny holes for your nostrils and the mouth and like a slight ridge where your you eyes look go. like Voldemort. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you menace Dick Tracy. Oh. All right. But you have perfect vision. <laughs> so I'm rolling for my number of super abilities right now. Oh, I hope I don't get psychic. But then again, whatever. I'll get what I get. 82. No! <laughs> Continuous mutation. Oh, that's the oh, worst. Goodness. That's the only one where you have to level up all uh-huh. the time. All of the mutant's powers do not manifest themselves immediately, but over time. Well, this is better than unstable powers, at least. So That's true. At level one, I roll for one major super ability and one super psionic power. Ugh, gross. Oh, I don't like this at all. Oh, this is terrible. All right. Sponsoring organization for my accidental experimentation is a medical research facility. Oh, I thought yours was an accident. Oh, I guess it could be an accident at the facility. Yeah, you were a janitor at the facility. It looks like I was exposed to an unknown quantity is why I am a bu- an experiment. Oh, same thing as Amelia. Perfect. Then we actually can do that. That's amazing. We've got a similar origin stories. So... I didn't used to be an 11 and a half foot tall elephant. I used to be an 11 and a quarter foot tall <laughs> elephant. Uh, what uh, what super ability amounts did you get, Amelia? Uh, I got one major and three minor. One major, three minor. Okay, that's good. Ooh, that's super that's good. good. Yeah. Yeah, it's super solid. Now you can randomly roll what your powers are. No, I still have to. I got the sponsoring organization, but then I have to now roll for my status with the sponsoring organization. <laughs> looks, looks like I rolled two major and one minor. Experiment's the best roll for superpowers you can get, because you can roll three majors. Um, I rolled a hundred. I actually like the uh, the six minor better than the three majors. Yeah, fair enough. Because it adds more variety. Uh, at, at least, I like the six minor ones when, uh, when you include the expanded materials. Ah, uh, yeah, I can see that. Currently employed by the organization and make no less than $100,000 a year. Wow. Probably triple. Whoa. I would... That's I, 1990s money, too. Yeah, that, that means you can actually afford that. The character is loyal to, to yeah. his creators and their cause. Wow. So you're you're probably not a janitor. Well, could have been, but now they're like, oh, you have rad superpowers. Please be our cool superhero yeah. and don't sue us. Please, Please don't, don't sue, sue us. us. Well, this does not match with the skills that I took Here is all. a ton of money just for you to not sue us. Okay, so I have to roll for one major super ability. Oh, there's so many. Oh, my God. Okay, so I'm writing down my spells. At level three, one of the spells is impervious to fire. Yeah. Another level three spell is resist fire. Why would Why would you take... Well, you could resist it, but maybe, you know... Is one of them only castable on yourself and the other one is castable on whoever? No, one of them costs three and one of them costs six PPE. Okay. So it's double to be impervious. Oh, okay. That makes sense yeah, then. that's fine. Not- Horrible, I guess. Is the is there a difference in duration or anything like that? I mean, I'd have to look at it. I'm just looking at the okay, list yeah, now. Don't worry about that. I don't care that much. All right, so I get a oh, this this determines like everything about my character is the super ability, and it has to be random. Oh yes, it definitely has to be random. Well, this one says roll. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's not pick these. It's roll because it's a continuous mutation. Ugh. Roll for one major super ability or, oh, what? Or, or one super cyan. I don't get to choose. I don't get both. A level one sucks. Yeah, no, I could have rolled that the only thing my uh, magic amulet gives me is a major super power full stop. That's it. All right. So random major super abilities table. This is my one defining super ability. Three. Oh, good Lord. Why? 
<laughs> yeah, you have a choice between <laughs> chameleon and copy super physical, or copy physical structure. <sighs> hey, at least there's a choice. How is chameleon uh, a major superpower? I guess. Let me, I don't even know for sure that it is. Let me read it because it could be great. Well, Although, while you're looking it up, I just want to let people know that my experiment uh, side effect is that in order to use my superpowers, I must physically transform, which makes me four feet taller, uh, 70 pounds heavier. <laughs> uh, I gain 50 STC and seven physical strength. So I go to 50. I go to 15 <laughs> feet. High. 15 feet tall. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that is the worst. <laughs> I don't know if I agree with that. I think this might okay. be the best. Okay. <laughs> i'm not that great indoors but who cares i'm great indoors if there's high ceilings like i'm good at fighting crime at banks oh that's amazing <laughs> everything is outdoors when you're that tall oh this is this isn't horrible this chameleon ability okay so i can change color and texture to blend into my environment uh sort of bio aura surrounds the character so that even the clothes seem to change and it, i love in this game they explain that there's like auras that surround your stuff to like change it as well. So ultra physical structure and stuff like that changes your clothes too. That's actually fantastic. Yeah, it's yeah. good. It's good superpower. So, so it has chances of being unseen. Um, if I'm not moving, it's ninety percent and so on. I can stick to surfaces like Spider Man, I guess. Um, it's Ooh. identical to the minor super ability of adhesion. I can hold my breath for 10 minutes. I can feign death by lowering my body temperature and respiration. Um, and I get a natural pro skill, which doesn't matter because I'm probably max anyway. And I get disguise and impersonation skills and climb and wilderness survival skill bonuses. This, this, this That's really horrible. Good. I thought it was going to be horrible. It looks as though I am on the run from a criminal organization. I'm going to go ahead, because it doesn't say this, uh, if you're an alien experiment, that you, it doesn't say if you have to be an, an Earth organization or not. So I'm going to say that I used to be a member of an alien smuggling ring, because I'm a, a rogue smuggler, who decided to ditch out and take his fortune in his, his <laughs> World War One airplane and go hide on Earth. Nice. His World War One space. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's amazing. Okay. I... Can I just roll for these super abilities? Yes, there is a table. Who could stop you? Yes, I see yeah. that. Okay. Random major super abilities yep, table. There's major and minor right. random tables. And okay. there are sub tables as well, um, mm -hmm. depending on what you roll. So yeah, you can you can most definitely roll your random abilities there. All right. If you want to make it easier for yourself. I think I'm gonna, I think I I'm gonna go with chameleon because my skill program suggested I'm kind of sneaky sneaky, right? Yeah, that sounds about right. And yeah. Chameleon kind of reinforces that. That's kind of ironically silly. Oh, that's so good. Huh. My major ability is plant control. Yeah. Yes. Which is great because I can also identify plants and fruits. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it all comes together. I know that this is a plant. I can control it. <laughs> I can also identify yep. <laughs> Now, if only we could meet another person who has plant summoning and enlargement. <laughs> I can only blend into things, so. But some of those things might be plants. That's true. Wow. I guess if I'm going to get a, a, a superpower, it might as well stick with my skills, which makes me better at what I was already good at. Although the, the sticking to surfaces thing, that's kind of cool. Uh, okay, so flight, glide. Ooh. At least Ooh. you can fly. Mm. You can fly like Banshee from the X-Men. Oh, yeah. Well, technically, he doesn't really glide. You see, he shouts at the ground, and the sonic force actually keeps him aloft. Technically, he doesn't shout at the ground. He shouts at the devil. <laughs> shout! <laughs> shout at the devil! That's how he flies. <laughs> Energy expulsion. Fire. Ooh. Ooh, you can blast fire and glide like the noble mm -hmm. dragon or the less noble drake. <clears throat> I guess I might as well roll these while I'm here. Yeah. Gosh, I, this is like the least powered character I've ever made. <laughs> well, I've rolled a 99, uh, which is weight manipulation. Oh, wow. Let's go see what that does. <laughs> oh, good. Finally, you can be a little heavy. <laughs> it's a major power. Though. <laughs> you can change your you can change your weight, but you have to change your height to do it. <laughs> oh, I, my character has two majors and one minor. So yeah. that's why I. That's what. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> two majors. Do you have to like get four feet taller to use your superpower? I have to get four feet taller to use my superpower. That's yes. Amazing. Okay. 
Oh my god, I could get a level six spell called Magic Pigeon. <laughs> It just sounds what? like a like a thing that was on Sesame Street in the eighties. I was just gonna say, it's a, it's a uh, carrier pigeon, right? Yeah, it's I send a message to someone. That's not mm-hmm. that's not as bad as it, it initially sounds. Especially if you play in like nineteen eighty nine, you can't just text uh-huh. people. That's true. Okay, so weight manip- weight manipulation is uh, you can make things that within about a hundred feet of you heavier or lighter. Uh, so I can I can raise or lower as a single melee at, or a ranged attack uh, the weight of something by 100 pounds at a time. Wow. So I I can increase someone's weight to to uh, it's got rules for what happens if you really get head yeah. uh, or increase someone's weight to the point where they can't move or make them weightless. Yeah. So that's kind that of is, fun. Yeah. That so, is yeah, I powerful because you can make them completely immobile, basically. Yeah. Or make people float and bob in the air or I can make them so heavy that they can barely move. Yeah. But it's slow because it's only 100 pounds per attack. Yeah. Which means I'm virtually immune to it, but not my foes. Can you throw something and then make it increase in weight or have somebody else throw it in you? There's no rule for that, but uh, I assume well, that it's a good power stunt that you could probably discuss oh, yeah, in the DM. I mean, technically, you can increase uh, the weight of your kinetic punch. manipulation. Yeah, kinetic manipulation is another superpower that does exactly that, where you throw things and then they get they get more kinetic energy after they've been thrown. Wow. Oh, yeah. I used to have a character in this that had ridiculous super strength mm-hmm. but then also the kinetic manipulation so we would th- like flick marbles at people and it did like 80 damage <laughs> <laughs> but no you're absolutely right you could definitely do that you, it would just be a fun power yeah, stunt. part of the the weight manipulation thing is you can increase your own weight and you gain 20 stc per 100 pounds uh well actually anybody Good. that gets their weight increased they gain 20 stc per 100 pounds and then nice i'm just gonna keep everyone in the group you heavy. add 1d4 to your punch damage per 100 pounds up to a maximum of 800 pounds or 8d4 <laughs> extra damage to your punches well i mean i weigh 740 and 550 when i'm uh, i'm sorry 850 when i'm transformed well i think it's uh up to 800 extra yeah, 800 pounds. extra mm-hmm. pounds yep so you could go to 1600 pounds i was just wondering what my max was i wasn't worrying i wasn't trying to add that to the punch does damage your, but yeah i can go to 1600 pounds and punch people at that your point phys- does your physical strength allow you to be that heavy <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Uh, technically, <laughs> Probably not. Lo- low gravity means I have the equivalent of the extraordinary physical strength oh, power. Oh wow! Uh, but but uh, but I do have a physical strength of twenty nine. Oh, so that's, that's probably definitely enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This character's beefy uh-huh. and big. And I might just named him beefy and big. <laughs> we'll find out. I got I got all two more powers. They'll 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 determine my powers name. True. My so character name. I got flight glide, but then I also got flight wingless. I think you get you get to select, <laughs> I believe, and then roll again. Select between those two and roll again. Like, replace one of them with another. Yeah, and wingless okay. is strictly better than, fl- than yeah. glide, so. <laughs> wingless is a hundred <laughs> okay. times better than glide, yeah. All right. Okay. Well, that, at least the the continuous mutation at least simplified my character. Yeah, and your character will, in fact, get better with age, where most yeah. characters in this game just don't. Yeah, what's really cool is at level two, I get a minor super ability. At level four... Now I rolled flight winged. <laughs> what? I guess choose between those two then. I'm just oh, pick winged. It makes you hotter. <laughs> winged gives you better physical beauty, and they're and I believe they are retractable. But then you get minuses, I believe, if you uh, have. The- if you choose retractable, yeah. I'll think about it. Let's see what else we get. <laughs> oh, I can be impervious to fire. And heat. Ooh, and you shoot fire. That's kind of appropriate. Oh, if you take, uh, oh, no, you never mind. You can't turn your wings to fire. Oh, yeah, that's, no, but that's great because, you see, all your hair was singed off. And it is always, always singed off. Exactly. It's I'm never coming back. Oh, yeah. That's kind of cool. It's just that your superpower automatically burns off all your hair. Like, if you don't use it for a few weeks, you have hair, but then. <laughs> but who's not using superpowers for a week? <laughs> that's amazing. I rolled some stuff that is straight up on point theme so i think i might i think i might know what my character is <laughs> it's interesting uh what randomness does sometimes it's why i love rolling random for everything because eventually you're like all right the gestalt of this is coming together and i can figure out what uh-huh. i want to be so my second super f- uh, ability is darkness control uh which is not it's weirdly it's on both the control sub table mm-hmm. and the random roll and also just something you can roll on its own I love that yeah. so, I, so I, I just rolled it on its own uh it gives me the ability to radiate uh 
orbs of darkness. I can create darkness in rooms and areas. I can surround myself with the sphere of darkness, and I have perfect vision inside that darkness and any any wow. darkness. Yeah. Uh, and then finally, my minor super ability is energy expulsion light. Oh, nice. Which lets me shoot beams of white light uh, that fire off and can hit people for small amounts of damage. It's the least damaging of the energy expulsions, but it can also blind people and create stunts like lighting up rooms and stuff. Nice. So, uh, because my character is huge, t- tense weight manipulation uh, controls and, and uh, can create darkness, I'm going to name of Event Horizon. That's perfect. I love that. Yeah, this is coming together. That's very cool. He's a black hole elephant. Yeah. All right, I've got me too. He'll wash the rain away. I've got Chameleon, and I'm kind of sneaky, and uh, Espionage. That's all I got so far. I have so many damn spells. Oh, no, I'm, okay. said I'm smart. I'm <laughs> very smart. List. So I got, what do I have here? Like 20-something spells? Oh, my gosh. So I've got Blinding Flash, Globe of Daylight, See the Invisible and Sense Evil. Those are my level ones. Nice. My level two spells are Befuddle, Levitation, Fear, and a Mystic Alarm. Uh, then at three, Armor of Ithan, Energy Bolt, Breathe Without Air, and Paralysis Lesser. Then I've got Blind, Carpet of Adhesion, Charismatic Aura, and a Swim as a Fish. <laughs> then uh, my high-level ones are Fly, Heal Wounds, Impervious to Energy, Locate, Metamorphosis Animal, and Words of Truth. Nice. Oh, my gosh. Words of Truth, also a reasonably good sideboard magic card, I believe. Yeah. I think... I think my character, I finally know what my superhero's name is going to be. Yeah. It's going to be integrity. <laughs> integrity. Journalistic integrity. <laughs> you see, it's all about ethics and games journalism. <laughs> don't, are you, wait, no. Don't make a gamer gator. Wow. No, it's, I'm a journalist already. Oh, he's a real one. Okay. I'm an actual funny. journalist. Okay, fair enough. I, with all of my physical skills, I took every single one that gave me a physical strength bonus. I'm still at 14. <laughs> don't nice. laugh at me <laughs> that's that's great you know what that means i can lift more it's the exact same in having a three i can lift no i can lift and carry more because your physical strength Ooh. actually matters in terms of gameplay even if it's under oh. 15 or 16 oh i have to roll to find out what kind of wings i have that's cool awesome. wings 11. leather oh nice you got them bat wings mm-hmm. the kind of wings that need a safe word so adhesion gives me plus one to my physical prowess as well as other uh skill bonuses like palming pickpockets concealment acrobatics and gymnastics and plus 10 to prowl but only when i'm on the ceiling or wall or another high place (laughs) (laughs) i have a car it's four years old. <laughs> so does that mean it's a 1985, or are we saying that that means it's a 2014? Who knows? 2013. I like to I like to bring this to the modern age. What I usually do, uh, if I were playing this nowadays, um, would be to translate all of the, uh, n- I mean, as we buy them, all of the equipment and cars into modern time stuff. Mm, that makes sense. And then for like all of the, like my salary is this. But we actually look at uh, the area of the world that we're in and like average salaries and stuff and pick from that. I'm a real nerd. Well, speaking of, I think the only thing I've got left is my my random your dispositions and stuff. what have you. Yeah. My birth order oh, yeah. and my weight and height. And your savings. I already know. Your savings account. I already know that I escaped from the intergalactic smuggling ring with $100,000 worth of alien exotic spices wow. and fineries. That's awesome. Wow. Mm-hmm. I have a thousand dollars on me in a car. <laughs> I'd like to buy that car. <laughs> sure. I make at least a hundred thousand dollars a year. At probably least. Probably triple. Probably. You triple. guys are so rich, and I am a journalist. <laughs> hey, I just got seventeen physical prowess. Do you know how much a fifteen foot tall elephant man needs to eat every day? <laughs> I don't. Too much. <laughs> you should make it way more so it feels like you're eating more. <laughs> By a hundred pounds each eating. <laughs> Oh, that, Damn, this is some heavy garlic that bread. That would be the worst. <laughs> <laughs> it really sits in your stomach, doesn't it? <laughs> this is extraordinarily thick fudge. <laughs> oh, this is the worst. At least it doesn't right. uh, stay that way. Yeah. So I am the third born. Oh, yeah. That stuff. Ooh, I'm at average physical endurance now at 10. 
Nice. I managed to get my physical endurance up to 17. Let's see. My weight is average. And my height is average. Good. What page are you on? 25. Oh, thank you. So I'm um, six foot, 170 pounds. I'm actually at 15 physical strength, not 14. I missed one. Okay, now I have to calculate my speed. I get plus 4d4 to my speed and an extra, you know, athletics does, plus 1d6. Oh, good lord. So now I get to math. Four. Five. So for my disposition, it turns out I'm paternal. Overbearing, overprotective of others, especially young characters. I think I might just re-roll then. In that case, I'm a, uh, I'm big daddy. I don't want the party to have two big dads. <laughs> Although I would be the bigger dad. Yeah, you would be bigger daddy. Yeah, I'd be little daddy. Wow, yeah. I only gained ten speed from all that. So I'm at That's I'm at bummer. sixteen speed now. I'm I'm like yeah, average in almost everything except for IQ. Oh, I'm pretty extraordinary in physical prowess at least two. So I get plus one to strike, parry, and dodge. Hey, you're uh, you're faster than me. I uh, I got all the way up to 28, and then I had to cut it in half because I'm from a low grav oh, world. Oh, that's right. But you're stronger than me, probably. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm stronger than everybody. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but I can stick to walls. <laughs> I've got a. I can make people stick to walls. <laughs> I've got a life savings of five thousand dollars. Oh, I'm missing out on all the fun. I'm I'm adding up all my SDC and junk. I'm still trying to look up what plant control even does. It controls plants. <laughs> oh, weirdly enough, it doesn't. <laughs> Look, I wouldn't put it <laughs> Technically, it controls factories. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst. Okay, so I get 1d6 plus 2d4 plus 3d6. This is where the Shadowrun dice come into play. Plus 2d6. I am from the US. Plus 1d6. Boo. Plus So four. boring. Wow, four extra d6. So I've got. Four, eight, I've got 10d6 plus 2d4 to add to my SDC just from physical skills. I'm going to... I am not writing all this down because I just don't care. I'm rolling it. <laughs> I'm rolling it all. Oh, no, I dropped one. That was a d4, too. I grew up in the suburbs. Where is this table? Page 25. 25. Okay. Oh, God, math. You say that, like, just so incredulous. Like, I should know this. We've been like, saying 25 a lot. Have. No, I, it, it's just convinced convenient that i happened to ask a few minutes ago and uh, i think that's why i was on everyone's tongue well i was busy yeah absolutely <laughs> not listening to you my who would social economic background is political upper middle class oh my dad is the mayor nice i am the second born plus 38 sdc plus an extra 10 from bodybuilding <laughs> So I got plus 48 oh. SDC. And my extraordinary abilities first manifested in adult, parentheses, recently, question mark? Which means <laughs> it definitely came from when you guys got your powers. That's amazing. Well, I, I haven't rolled mine yet. Let's see. First, I have to see if I get SDC from this other stuff, like chameleon. Mine manifested when I was in my late teens, which just means that I am presently in my late teens. Yeah. Oh, there, there you go. Okay, I don't get any other bonuses for my super abilities because I have lame super abilities. Oh, That's, same. Except that they're rad. It's kind of rad. I'll, I'll agree. Okay, now I'm on to my optional rules. I just love rolling Good. percentile dice. I don't know what it is about percentile dice. I just love it. Rolling randomly in a table is the best thing until you get something boring and you're like, aw. Yeah. But I wanted something dumb. The whole point of rolling on a table is to get yeah. dumb things. All right, birth order. 21. I was first born. That's kind of boring. Yeah, but first born of how many? Oh, yeah. I get to choose that. I guess uh, it'll depend on my socioeconomic background because, you know, you roll on that. All right. Next up, weight. 34. Ooh, I'm average. <laughs> so far, I'm pretty boring. I'm hot-headed, quick-tempered, and emotional, but basically nice. Yeah. Uh, basically. <laughs> Obviously. I love, I love like a Wolverine. <laughs> Okay. Uh huh. Height. Look, you're emotional, but you're you're still a good person. Okay. I'm average height. I like that you're hot headed and you can shoot fire. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. That's perfect. Six foot. Sure. Okay. Uh, she's hot blooded. Check it and see. <laughs> Ooh. It appears that I am a nice guy, though I am clearly too talkative. A blabbermouth. 
34. You're, I am also hot headed. Trunk. I'm hot headed, quick tempered, emotional, but basically nice. Um, I don't want to have the same one, and yours fits more better. More better. <laughs> more better. This is what... I have a life savings of five thousand dollars. Nice high five. <laughs> Blabber mouth. Loving this. I think I'm gonna go ahead and make this guy Beauregard from Muppets uh, Great Muppet Caper. Here we go. I am <laughs> I'm a nice guy, friendly, courteous, and hospitable. Oh. So you're Ryan. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> True story, that's the one I picked the most out of all my characters. Sorry, oh, it takes a while to get to know the planet. <laughs> I know. I'm from Australia. Nice. nice. I wish I had rolled something besides the US. I know. I Does that mean I can control, like, weird plants? You can yeah, control you can crazy Aust- plants. So. <laughs> crazy Australian pl- plants like the kangaroo. <laughs> All right, I just rolled. Sorry, I don't have the identify plants fruit skill. <laughs> well, <laughs> what is this some I kind of fruit? I, <laughs> do I know what things specifically are not fruits? Then, like, well, yeah, I if you can't identify them, not well, a fruit. <laughs> actually, the problem is you can only identify probably about like fifty percent of the time, which means half the time you're right, and the other half you're like, this koala <laughs> is definitely a fruit. <laughs> oh God! Wow. I can identify fruits at 40%. Thank you. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I gave you the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> I can control them, but I cannot identify them. Yep. Well, that's how you identify. You're like, let me try and control everything I see. And if it works, it's a plant. Oh, oh my God. I have a name for your character, and I I want you to come up with your own. Hmm. But I love uh, it. I kind of have one, too, but mine's kind of based on obscure, stupid trivia knowledge about Australia. So I grew up in a medium-sized city. I, of course, wasted my 100 on childhood environment oh. instead of life savings. But I did roll 69 for my life savings. Nice. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, Reciprocity. Rolled, oh, well, this makes sense. Right? My socioeconomic background is military, middle class. Well, there you go. I rolled a 1. I rolled 100 and then one for my next one. Go figure. I'm from a large city. Ooh, Ooh so it's pretty much Sydney or Canberra. Melbourne. Yeah. Perth. When did I get my powers? Right now. 47. Early teens. No, that just means you're currently in your early teens. <laughs> no problem. Maybe, maybe I was the first one to be exposed to this. Mm-hmm. And because of that... The company that uh, Amelia works for um, got the substance, and we're it, we're studying it, and then both of you were exposed to it. Yeah, and then if, uh, well, obviously, what happened is the substance was encased in some kind of jewelry or a small vial or something, and then that was embedded into John's character by accident. Yeah, or is uh, currently I got hanging my around abilities his neck. as a preteen. Okay, so, so <laughs> it rapidly okay, so. aged you. Your character has progeria. <laughs> progeria. I've got this. We can explain this. Don't worry about it. Don't, <laughs> don't you fret. So when you were accidentally expo- oh. exposed, you blinked out of time briefly mm-hmm. and uh, came back when you were older. Yeah. yeah. What, it, it, what if we were both exposed by the same alien thing? And that's one of the reasons why this alien character came to this planet to find this alien thing that mm-hmm. changed us, but then it changed you as well when you found it. Yeah, it was actually alien treasure, and well, I hid I'm... it on this planet to hide it from the smuggling ring that's after me. And it was lost from this organization. Mm-hmm. I was going to say, what it could have been is, since you guys have been exposed earlier, I'm a new hero, and it's chosen me like whatever this weird object is so you got exposed to its energy but now it is chosen me as a champion or something 
Oh, yeah. And now that it's got a champion, it's no longer randomly changing people. Yeah, it's just irradiating me with magic. And my original plan was to come down to Earth and get it and leave quietly after the heat had died down, which is why all my character skills are things like uh, disguise, impersonation, uh, Yeah, you were going to just lay low (laughs) seduction. Yeah, that was my idea. But unfortunately, I didn't know enough about Earth on my way down that I didn't realize that elephants weren't the dominant species there. (laughs) They're so big, though. Mm -hmm. Why would it how could they not be? The, How could they not be dominant? Obviously, they're the largest land mammal. They must be the ones in charge. Yeah. <laughs> you landed. You started talking to elephants. They didn't really get what was going on. And you're like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't that complicated. And eventually I gave up and flew away in my tiny airplane. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, for all of my skills, I had picked, like, wilderness survival stuff, too. Yeah. And now I have this plant control power. And I feel like I feel pretty good about this. I think your character I don't should, know like, why I'm working for this medical organization making $100,000 a year. Well, that I, maybe that your control plants ability is very helpful with the research. Is the research like on cannabis? Like what? <laughs> I think what you were. I think you were lost in the medicine? wild as an as a toddler, and you were raised as a feral child by uh, eucalyptus trees. <laughs> that's probably it. Mm-hmm. Well, that's I was raised right. by that's trees. Raised by the brush. You probably still would have been in Australia around that time. Yeah. Raised what by eucalyptus. I, what, if, what if my family was visiting Australia? Oh no, a military background. Uh, maybe my family was stationed in Australia, mm. and uh, I happened to go exploring at one point when you also went exploring, and we uh, we found this weird thing that changed us, like uh, the the weird object or whatever that now is uh, embedded in uh, our non alien. Yeah, in integrity. Yeah, in integrity. Yeah, I should probably oh, write. Gosh, the, I, I should write these names down. I yeah, do you, do you guys have names yet? I haven't heard yours. I have no idea. Because so, I'd like to throw burning bush out there. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's really good with plant control and energy expulsion, fire. Right? Yeah. I mean, yep. <laughs> it's too late now. <laughs> or brush fire. Yeah, brush fire is also really good. Oh, brush I was going to really suggest good. Gimpy Gimpy because it's the this weird plant in Australia that's like extremely deadly. Like if you touch it, you might die. Yeah, that's <laughs> terrible. Yeah, but it's a great Australian name. If you're Australian, wow. that name sounds amazing. <laughs> it's kind of like Chaz <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, and we have um, Event Horizon. Yeah, Event Horizon, uh, Integrity, Burning Bush. <laughs> Or brush is it, is fire? it or oh. burning bush or brush fire or what? Which one? You going with burning bush? I mean, I feel like yes. <laughs> I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right, and oh gosh, so I'm a chameleon. I don't want to go with chameleon because that's stupid. It's taken. Uh, and taken. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. No, I'm suggesting you should go with the name Taken. Oh. His well, character see, does because... have a certain set of skills. <laughs> <laughs> Your family is gone. <laughs> I do have a certain set of skills. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't think I would go with that. Oh, my goodness. On my uh, 1990s uh, flip phone. <laughs> what? Oh, well, damn. That's what he used in the movie, too. So I Oh, that's right. Yeah. Sense. I'm really wishing that... <sighs> You had some sort of plant-based power, too, because I was like, what's something where you don't notice them? I was like, ooh, wallflower. Uh, ooh. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't make too much sense. I mean. Unless we're going for, like, a magical girl's theme or something. And, Obviously, I mean, we should, because the- I need to be a magical girl elephant. <laughs> <laughs> you do transform to oh, use magical your powers. girl elephant. And we have the magic object person who transforms. Well, I technically, can... I don't transform. Oh, that don't would be transform? if I had bestowed powers. Oh. That would be if I was Shazam. Instead, oh, I'm just like right. Green Lantern. You're just guy with a ring or or whatever. That yeah, I just have an amulet. What are your two stuff. powers again? You have one major and one minor, right? Invisibility or something, right? For me? Yeah. I have chameleon, oh. which also gives me adhesion, which is a minor super ability. Oh, okay, so you just have one major. Yeah. So why don't but you it's go a with another mutation? If uh, well, for the moment, yeah. If uh, yeah. if you only have one, pa- I'm sorry. Why don't you go with a different kind of animal that also has chameleon style shape shifting, like uh, or not shape shifting, but color switching? Like uh, you could be the cuttlefish, the gentle cuttlefish. <laughs> I can't. I can't <laughs> swim anymore, though. 
I think I can. Oh. No, I still it, have, it, it might I pop up. In, it might pop up in the future. You, you may develop the ability right. to swim because you change colors, mm-hmm. and because your uh, powers are constantly mutating. Might I suggest flux? Ooh, that's not bad. Ooh, I like that. With three X's. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're edgy. We're, we're, in the we're, edgy, we're in the 90s. We're in the 90s edgy comic timelines. I need you to know about my shoulder pads. I don't know. Have gun. you seen the art in this book? It's very edgy. Some of the, some of it's good. Some of it is hilariously bad. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I really like Flux, so I'm going to go with that. I would just like it to be known that I love naming superheroes. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah, is me too. my jam. That's why every time we cover a... Because uh, well, our bonus content for our own show is to make characters in the game we just reviewed. And... Uh, we we uh we love doing the superhero episodes. <laughs> I would love to come do that with you guys at some point. Anytime. Seems we don't like... need, you don't even need to be in San Diego. You just need to read a whole role playing game, uh, which okay kind of sucks. And and be ready for our very blue, uh, very mean style of doing shows. <laughs> oh, I mean, I can handle that. Yeah. <laughs> I can. What? It's, it's like a podcast done by two angry sailors that are also huge role playing nerds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So two angry sailors. I think. <laughs> pretty <laughs> if you've much. Met any yeah. sailors? Wow. The, I think my favorite piece of terrible art in this book, if you're if you have the book in front of you, is on page ten. It's a woman whose legs are as long as she is. Yeah, that one's um, c- confusing. <laughs> I would say. Oh yeah! Like, oh I, my god! You don't notice it until someone points it out. <laughs> no, it's true. Because they wanted to take up the whole page with it. And it's just abnormally, that's way too big. <laughs> She's got legs the size of Texas. Although Those legs I, I go imagine all the way there's up. probably a superpower that gives you legs like that. Well, there's legs tra- for days. <laughs> legs for, for days. Well, that's the character's days. superhero name, I'm sure. Yep. Sailor Moon. <laughs> like me. Her name is Getaway Sticks. <laughs> Oh, but there is stretching, good. so you can you can definitely make a long legged person. That's yeah. true. Okay, so we all have our skills. We all have our superpowers. We all have names. Um, are we done with the like official part of our characters? Uh, we we don't have our civilian names. No, oh, I I have oh, my character's yeah. true human name. Yes, yeah, so that's no problem. I'm sorry. True. I mean, obviously, my human name, mm-hmm. my regular non yeah. superhero name, is Bob's and Dugnut. Bob's and Dugnut. <laughs> yeah, which is of course why I'm Sleeve McDykel. No. <laughs> uh, oh. We we can do better. Yeah. Oh, I didn't write that. <laughs> Ryan. Yes. Yes, you can. I didn't. I didn't pick an alignment. Oh. Oh, you didn't. No, I, I don't everyone's think everyone's scrupulous. I don't think anybody picked alignments. Uh, I did. I'm, I'm scrupulous. Oh, you I are? tried to, and you told me we're not at that part. I apologize. <laughs> You're right. We're That's not. What you sound like? But Ugh. now we are. Now we are at pick alignments. <laughs> okay. No, so, it, it kind of sounds Canadian. So let's get back into a little bit more explanation of what this game's about. Uh, because, <laughs> you know, <laughs> we haven't done enough of that yet. Um, so there are what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven alignments. Mm-hmm. Uh, two good alignments, principled and scrupulous. Principled's kind of like your Superman mm-hmm. that uh, is always doing the good stuff. Um, scrupulous is what do they say? Like a Clint generic Eastwood good guy. type, mm-hmm. uh, Charles Bronson type type of films. Um, unprincipled is kind of like your Han Solo. Uh, like they'll they'll do they'll keep their honor and stuff, but uh, they'll, they'll do still, the right thing in the end. Yeah, in the end, uh, anarchist is uh, these are selfish alignments. Unprincipled and anarchist. Mm-hmm. Anarchist is what are they really full that selfish? Mm-hmm. Yeah, very. Selfish. You're only looking out for number one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Evil alignments are aberrant, um, which is the evil with a code evil of with ethics. a code of honor. Yep. Uh, miscreant, which is puppy kicker. Yeah, <laughs> almost, right? Yeah. Well, because there's... It's the one who experiments on cats when they're a kid. It's basically your crab and goyle. Self-serving, unscrupulous character is only out for themselves, and they want power, glory, wealth, and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah, it makes sense. I mean, and then there's diabolic. And then, yeah, diabolic. And then diabolic, yeah. So, diabolic's like just the pure evil type stuff. Mm-hmm. And what's interesting is they have, what, 13 or 14 or so... Uh, different tenets that your character will follow mm-hmm. uh, for each alignment. So it's kind of like a uh, you don't cross these lines sort of thing while you're playing this character. And if you do, I believe your character does have to change. Mm-hmm. And I like how they point out no neutral alignments. 
Oh, every uh, Palladium book that gives you the alignment chart yeah. has to have a little paragraph about how neutrality doesn't exist and everyone picks a side and yeah. true neutral I, is dumb for babies. Yeah, I think that's uh, a very non-subtle jab at D&D right there. Yes. Yeah, yeah kind of. I had a few friends back when I used to play this who were infected by that paragraph and uh, would get really mad if you tried to play a druid in our second edition D&D game. They'd be like, Ugh, no such thing as true neutral. You can't be a druid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because druids had to be true neutral back in the day. Sure did. In Dungeons and Dragons. So, and yeah, se seven alignments, no neutral. Yeah. So I'm actually going to go with unprincipled for my character. Because hmm? uh, they've got oh. the, the espionage backgrounds and all that sort of stuff. Plus, they're kind of sneaky, sneaky. Um, so I like that you can't say sneaky. You have to say sneaky, <laughs> sneaky every time. Yeah. Well, they're double sneaky. Mm -hmm. It's true. They are double sneaky. Um, and not just because I say that all the time. But yeah, I, I keep my honor. Um, I only lie and cheat if necessary. Uh, do things like that. But I'll take dirty money. But hey, I'll, ne I'll never betray. You can always clean it up. I'll never betray a friend. Have a high regard for life and freedom. Aw. Yeah, so this is like the Han Solo character who like always does it good in the end. But um, you know, if they make a buck on the side, that's fine. Yeah, I went with scrupulous, not principled, because I am still going to be able to like ones in scrupulous like lie to people of selfish or evil alignments. Because I'm a journalist, I occasionally embed myself in areas where I can't just be like, "Hi, I'm a journalist." <laughs> yeah, that makes uh, a lot of sense. And then bend occasionally break the law when deemed necessary. So if I'm after a story, I can break and enter if I need to, things like that. So it's I'm definitely like on the up and up, but I can do things if it serves good. Yeah. yeah. And I am also scrupulous. I considered principled because my character by role is an intergalactic champion of justice. Yeah. Uh, but ultimately, I've decided that most of the rest of the universe is pretty grimy. So justice to the rest of the universe is a little bit less. Scrupulous is as good as it gets out there. Yeah. I picked principled. Nice. Noise. <laughs> <laughs> grumble, grumble, grumble. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Oh, no. I promised I would. <laughs> just twitching a little bit of oh god it hurts uh, i'm so nice uh, i uh -huh. couldn't make couldn't make a blood mage and there is a there is a little <sighs> chart um at the back of your um well not a little chart a little other stuff category at the back of your power character type which says all the different little things that you get to round out your character. Um, and that's why I have a $1,000 and a four-year-old car. Yep, so starting SDC for me was 30, so I add that to my other SDC, which was 48, so I start with 78 SDC. Wow, that's weird, because the magic item starts with 35. I wouldn't think one of the magic people would start with more SDC than, like, an than experiment a or a mutant. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. My total well, SDC is 100. Hey, if it makes you feel better, I start with a 20 as an alien, although my total SDC is uh, 185. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you're a big, <laughs> thick boy. <laughs> I'm an absolute unit. Yeah. In fact, my character's real name from space is Absolute Unit. <laughs> yeah. I am in awe at the size of this lad. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Eight, Eight plus. Wow. I almost rolled max money for my character. Oh, I didn't say what my hit points were. I got 23 hit points. I've got a uh, PBE personal of 17. My object has 180. Oh, wow. So the object is really doing most of the casting for yeah. me here. Yeah. So I've got life savings included, $7,500. Oof. That's not bad. No. That's good. Yeah. Of course, one of us has a salary. I know, right? Hey, I, I work. Oh, I've got a salary, too. Presumably, the character has a job. Nice. Apartment and reasonable personal expenses Ooh. or possessions. 32. I have a car. Yeah. You freelance for an angry guy who keeps demanding pictures. Pictures of burning bush. <laughs> <laughs> my car is three years old. I work for National Geographic, and my editor keeps wanting pictures. Pictures of spiders, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to say my character's probably a computer programmer in civilian life. Sure. Yeah. Um, just because he is smart and he likes to uh, apparently solve puzzles, maybe. 
I'll tell you what, you can work for the IT department of my newspaper. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I could. Mm -hmm. Or I could work for uh, Amelia's, like, secret organization or whatever. I work for a medical research facility. Yeah. Hey, I'll, I'll work for that with programming. I'm a gambler. <laughs> Yeah, my character owns several several sets of Earth clothing, so I've decided that several of them are fine suits, and he spends most of his time playing high end gambling games at local casinos. What? Great. He literally never refers to his status as a giant elephant man, and he and uh, the casinos are far too interested in his money to ever do anything as gauche as, as uh, notice it. But he's eleven. One feet of those tall. outfits needs to be like a Hawaiian shirt or something. Yeah, though. he definitely has a Hawaiian shirt. But yeah, he's wow. a, he's eleven feet tall, and he spends most of his time taking up two benches at a pie gow table somewhere. Hmm. At the very least, this is a world where like people there there's a decent amount of people that can have superpowers if you choose to go that route. Mm. Oh yeah, um, I mean you could have aliens and mutants and whatnot all over the place. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's got disguise and impersonation skills. I'm pretty sure he just pretends to be a human and no one ever catches no, him on it. It's fine. Ever. So one of the spells I could have taken was metamorphosis human. Oh, nice. And I feel like I should have just so I could be like, oh, my God, will you please? No, it, it's fine. I, I, I turn my trunk sideways and it turns into a mustache. And then I put on these glasses. See? Ah, yes. <laughs> just hold up a newspaper uh -huh. in front of you. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. And if anyone knows he's an elephant, he surrounds himself with a giant cloud of darkness and escapes in the confusion. Did we do this? I think I think we literally finished creating our characters. Um, yeah, we're we're done. So uh, uh, yeah, I normally I would say all right, let's make up a convoluted background, but we've kind of been doing that. -ish. Oh yeah, that's yeah. one of the the joys of this game. Yeah, yeah. So it sounds like we're pretty much all linked. Because of this alien object that gave us our powers or uh, gave us our powers. Mm -hmm. And. <laughs> <laughs> or. Possibly. <laughs> if I could suggest a third option. <laughs> our powers were given to us. By it. By the alien object. Oh, yeah. Ooh. And, then, and then the person that wields the object doesn't even get powers. They just can use the ones that the object has. Yeah, I just have the magic that it has. <laughs> That's so horrible. You keep asking it for superpowers, and it's like, I'm like, hey, can I be cool? And it's like, no, patience, you, my You God. have been deemed worthy for my <laughs> ultimate power, magic. I specifically want the object to be that that cylindrical piano thing from the Masters of the Universe movie, and you have to carry that crap around. <laughs> no. <laughs> Never. <laughs> uh <laughs> Dolph Lundgren comes roaring back into the podcast. <laughs> awesome. No, it's a it's a gem that is embedded into my chest, mm -hmm. and I wear a chain with a little uh, clasp thing around it, so that it looks like I'm wearing a pendant, but it's actually embedded in me. And the little like overlay of gold just makes it look like I'm wearing something. That's fascinating. I also wear a lot of gold chains. <laughs> Do you? Yeah, because I'm a gambler. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what gamblers are known for <laughs> on my planet mr t is a huge gambler <laughs> oh man on my planet is the ultimate win an argument card <laughs> <laughs> well that didn't take as long as i thought it was going to it's only <laughs> <laughs> well let's all go back and actually write out our skill percentages and share them <laughs> that's true that's true we didn't write out all of our skill percentages and i did i and forgot to factor them. in the amount of time where amelia just openly weeps for several <laughs> hours you're right that didn't that didn't take very long why don't we go ahead and make riffs characters real quick too okay, okay. we'll include a few source books just to mm -hmm. just to yeah. give us a challenge I want to make a vampire hunter. Oh, my God. I want to make a uh, one of those wormwood things. Oh, dude, wormwood. The, the Avengers. <laughs> yeah, or like that worm pope or worm the priest. Apoc. Yeah. Ugh. I want to make a uh, temporal raider. Is, oh, yeah, the one that starts at level 1d4 plus 1. No, the <laughs> raider starts at like level 12. That's right. <laughs> I want to make a character who can summon bees but can't control them. <laughs> oh, well, that's easy enough. It's rifts. We can do anything. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Yeah, I'm sure there's an option. <laughs> Look, you just cast summoning control insects, but you forget that last part. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I can I can summon bees, but not control them. The, but the spell requires the material component of a beehive. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> also, 
that is my new hero. I'll be playing beehive from now on. <laughs> it is a dude who carries a beehive with him and throws it at people. Can he also have the haircut? No powers. Can he also have the haircut? <laughs> yes. <Beehive> Yay. Haircut. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. We, we still have a whole second part to do. Oh, yeah. Well. Yeah, that part's easy, though. Mm-hmm. Sweet. Because it doesn't involve making Because <laughs> it doesn't involve this. I'm looking at the notes here, and it says we're supposed oh. to discuss if we had any specific roles we wanted to fill, but Palladium doesn't have those, so no. Yeah. yeah. There's not even well, healing in this game. Well, technically, I think my guy ends up filling a fairly decent supporting role as a uh, wizard with a bunch of spells. That's true. Because yeah. he does have the ability to heal wounds of other people. Oh, nice. He can levitate things. Yeah, and my character, of course, is definitely the party summon a giant cloud of blackness and shoot light beams out of it. Yeah, and I'm the the sneaky, sneaky one. <laughs> I can do carpentry. Oh, well, sure. that's that's the best, but not boat building. That's a different skill. Hey, you, so don't you're even the ask. One, I did you're not the take one boat that building. Can fly. Yes, but also I can do carpentry. <laughs> I guess that is the important one. Hey, I can fly. Yeah, between the three of us, we can we can fly the whole party around because I'm allowed what? to have one person sit on the lap of my tiny airplane on my lap in my tiny airplane. So, Amelia. We yes. haven't figured out what your character does at your medical research facility. Makes copies. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna you plague, sound super into this. This is going to plague me forever. <laughs> so I need to know. <laughs> okay, so top secret. Ooh. I'll That's accept that top answer. Secret. Makes top secret copies. Like, we don't know what you do, but you get paid this exorbitant amount. That's fine. Yeah. I'm done. Uh, I'm done with that. I um don't have a college education. <laughs> oh, what did you roll for education? I totally missed out on uh, trade school. Hmm. Oh, okay. Maybe you have one of those yeah. make work jobs where you're like uncle is the CEO or something. Yeah, I mean, I do have a political slash upper middle class family. Heck oh. yeah, you could be like the innovations director or some other made up job. Mm-hmm. Yeah, director of um, what is the, what if it's a landscaping? What's the government uh, research facility that you work for? that uh has political connections um it's probably like the dnr or something right it's probably uh it's do not resuscitate <laughs> <laughs> department uh, of natural resources <laughs> oh okay um yeah okay yes sir we made characters great it we happened did it mm-hmm. Well, thank you so much for joining us for our Heroes Unlimited character creation episodes. John, do you want to remind people where they can find you? You can find us at systemmasterypodcast.com. Uh, that is where all of our stuff is located. And if you wanted to support us, uh, patreon.com slash system mastery. We got tons of bonus content. We've got RPG reviews, movie reviews, Star Wars book reviews. We've got all sorts of stuff yeah we just work and work and work i love your expounded universe stuff that's my favorite oh thank you it's so good it's really fun to make you can come be on that too if you want uh yeah but then i would have to read those awful books (laughs) well you'd only have to read a couple chapters (laughs) yeah you have to read like three chapters of one oh okay i could do that i could do that i just did heroes unlimited i can do anything (laughs) that's true (laughs) now you can take on the world now you've got the power (laughs) yeah when you come on we're gonna do the palladium star wars Oh, yes. There, what? <laughs> <laughs> Ryan got really excited for a second there. Just perk right up. Uh, sadly, that does not exist. Oh, that's so unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> You're actually upset. Well, I mean, I, I think the Palladium Star Wars is just what, Robotech? Yeah, it's Robotech, Macross, yeah. Uh, kind of. Three galaxies. Or Mechanoids. The three galaxy stuff could also be yeah probably three galaxy stuff because yeah, the, the three probably, galaxies is their most i mean that's where cosmo night is which i think it's just I mean, heroes it, unlimited plus aliens unlimited honestly no that too yeah there's so many ways to make star wars in the palladium system yeah that's i mean true. they've got space wizards mm-hmm. so you're basically there also we're mm-hmm. system mastery <laughs> <laughs> thanks i'm segueing <laughs> that's true. Oh. like a professional um yes. did we cover jeff yet uh, I mean, I do the same See thing at the John. same place, so it's okay. fine. <laughs> okay, <laughs> See we'll, also. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, perfect. Uh, well, thank you, everyone, for listening, and please join us next time uh, for our discussion episode.
Character Creation Cast is a production of the One Shot Podcast Network and can be found online at www.charactercreationcast.com. Head to the website to get more information on our hosts and guests, or even some of our character sheets. Character Creation Cast can be found on Twitter at CreationCast. I'm one of your hosts, Ryan Bolter, and I can be found on Twitter at Lord Neptune. Our other host, Amelia Antrim, can be found on Twitter at Ginger Reckoning. Music for this episode is used with a Creative Commons license or with permission from the podcast they originated from. Further information can be found within the show notes. Our main theme music is Hero Remix by Steve Combs and is used with a Creative Commons license. This podcast is owned by us under Creative Commons. This episode was edited by Ryan Bolter. Further information for the game systems used in today's guests can also be found in the show notes. If you like the systems discussed and wish to purchase them, links to the products can be found in the show notes. Also, check the notes or the website for cool stuff to go with each character, such as dice or mixtapes. Thanks for joining us, and remember, we find that the best part of any role-playing game is character creation. So go out there and create some amazing people. We will see you next time. Show blurbs. Show blurbs. Show blurbs. Show blurbs. Show blurbs. Character Creation Cast is hosted by the One Shot Podcast Network. If you enjoyed our show, visit oneshotpodcast.com where you'll find other great shows like The Broadswords. The Broadswords is an all woman DD podcast focused on drama, role play, and subverting stereotypes. Join the broads as they unravel the mystery of Snowy Rashomon, a land ruled by witches and steeped in superstition. Berserkers reign and spirits roam the frozen wastes. Yularis, Kila, Mipri all have their own reasons for journeying north, but they soon find they have something in common. They are pawns in a divine plot.